I developed a little system in a few years back. I don't know how many. It's been probably five years now, maybe more. And my premise was, or the designer's intent was, to get you out the way should something bad happen in the market. Now, without going through a lot of details, these zones in here, this is a 5% zone and a 10% zone, and that's of the 50-5-0 week closing high. And this is a weekly chart. Now, the system was originally intended for the S&P 500, but I did some quick back testing on the queues, and it looked like it worked pretty good. And the reason I did that was we were on the cusp of a setup, and I figured it'd be fun, and I know you want to part of me, to, to just buy 100 shares and see what happens. Well, to my surprise, that worked out really, really well, more than I ever dreamed, and I'll show you that in one second. But anyway, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. We've spent so much time on this in the past. I'm just going to quickly give you the rules because I know whenever I show a system, I get a bunch of emails asking me about the rules. So there's the rules. Weekly close is less than 10% away or within 10%, I should say, of the 50-week closing high. So just closing in anywhere in the pink zone, okay? And two bars of upside, Landry Light, meaning the lows are greater than the moving average. The moving average is a 50-week simple moving average, and that's my whipsaw filter with this system. So I bought it here, and I didn't have the trade handy, but I've shown the trade before, the actual buy of it, and I'll show you the sell when that finally happens, which is gonna be a little painful, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, if it happens soon, but if it happens later, maybe not so much. But anyway, 319.49 was where I got in based on this buy signal. And based on where it was this morning, and I thought to myself, you know, it's always dangerous to show somebody how well you're doing because usually right after that, you get whacked. But anyway, based on the mark to market yesterday's close, because I did the slides before the open this morning. I had $183.47 of profit. And like I said earlier, just 100 shares, but I, I know it's not the sneeze at, but, but still just 100 shares. So that's $18,000 in change profit. And to my amazement, when I did the math on that, that's a 57.42% return on this trade on a mark to market basis, not quite as good today, but that's pretty crazy. Even ludicrous would say that's ludicrous. Anyway, there's a sell in case somebody's curious. So the sell, unfortunately, be, would be way down here at 412. I was looking at the slope of the moving average, the rise and the run, and I guess the rise or whatever they call it is uh, show you how little I'm going to show you how little I know about math. But anyway, it's about two and a half points right now, and that might increase a little bit as the drop off effect kicks in. So you're dropping off lower prices than that and higher prices. And with the simple moving average, it's a little slow to cap, catch up. Now, I wanted a simple moving average with this system because I wanted a little lag to it so you wouldn't get whipsawed too much. And that's why, in case you're wondering, because you'll notice with most of my patterns, uh, specifically like bow ties, you've got two exponential moving average and the slow moving average, or the, um, the 10 period, I should say, which is actually technically the fast moving average. But the 10 period is a simple moving average. And the interaction between those two, three, I really like between those three, I really like. But anyway, I mostly use EMAs, but in this particular case, I like a 50-week simple moving average. And so the sell signal is just a close, 10% or more away from that 50-week closing high. So that would be in this red zone or hot ping zone, whatever you want to call that. And that's 10%. You take the 50-week closing high, which would be yesterday's close, and then you take 10% from that, okay? And that gives you this zone right here. So a 10% drop would be 452 based on this close and change. And then it also has to close below the moving average, which right now is a long ways away. So hopefully, I know you should never use the word hope, but hopefully that'll catch up over time. So nothing to sneeze at there. But the, the thing I wanted to show you is a couple things. It, and keep in mind with my core methodology, we're, we're more of a swing trade. We're more swing trade oriented. But through the money management, we take a piece off, like AMSC, pretty close at an IPT. I did take partial profits in it today. ULS is pretty close. I probably should have taken profits in that. And I'll discuss that next week as probably part of my million little things, because there's so many things you have to really pay attention to. Nothing that's rocket science. Uh, it, it, we were talking right before we went live about rockets. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can't see it now. It's behind this curtain. But I have a, um, a very large rocket in the back of my office.
which I actually was saying earlier, I had to cut it. I had to cut the fins down so it would fit in here. It's so big. I used to be a, a rocket nerd. I'm just a nerd in general. 